Dear friend, what do you understand by the assumption of our Blessed Mother Virgin Mary? Do you know that our Blessed Mother Virgin Mary, after completing her earthly life on earth, was carried body and soul into heaven to enjoy forever the glory of her Son, who at the same time is her Savior? Do you know that she was carried amidst great multitude of the angels, according to Pope Pius XII and Saint Damasin, Saint Germanus, so many saints and church fathers, if our Lord received his own body and blood from our Blessed Mother Virgin Mary, it is simply wise and natural that this person from whom he received his most precious body and blood would not be allowed to suffer the corruption of the grave. And therefore, our Blessed Mother Virgin Mary was carried into heaven, body and soul, to enjoy forever as Queen, the Queen Mother beside the King, her son, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Come to think of it, in the book of Genesis chapter 5 from verse 24, a mention was made of a man by name Enoch. Enoch was carried into heaven and in Hebrews chapter 11, the scripture tells us about this Enoch who walked with God and was seen no more. In 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 11, the prophet Elijah was also taken into heaven by a fiery chariot and was seen no more, body and soul. Therefore, if the prophets of old who wielded special dimensions of God's mystery were privileged to enjoy this glory, how much more would our Blessed Mother Virgin Mary enjoy because of her privileged position as the mother of the eternal Son, Jesus Christ. Her body is considered immaculate, free from original sin and free from actual sin. Therefore, this body cannot be allowed to experience corruption. Dear friend, as the church celebrates the solemnity of the assumption of our Blessed Mother Virgin Mary, a day which shares the same dignity and grace with Sunday. It is a celebration of hope because today we remember once again that where our mother is, there we shall one day be. We shall be united with her and forever be with her as her children. She is the queen of the angels and the queen of the saints. She is the queen of queens and the queen of the entire creation. The Lord be with you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord turn his merciful gaze on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh,